In the previous lesson, we have created an original file, but we have not checked in the file on the SAP server. Let's do that now. I'm still in the change document transaction and I will go forward. And now let's select the original that we want to check in. In the check in step, this document that we have uploaded from our local machine, we will store it on the SAP server. To check in a document, you can use this check in original button. And now it will ask you where do you want to check in this document. We will use in our case DMS C1 ST. And this is because this is the default storage for document management system. By using this option, we will check in our document on the SAP server. This is advisable only for a small amount of documents. SAP best practice recommendation is that if you have a large number of documents, it's better to have created a special content server only for documents. In this way, you can store a large number of documents without affecting the system's performance. We will go later on in this course over different customizing that can be done on the storage category so that we can control where this document is stored and in which table this document information record will be saved. Now, as you see, we have the storage category maintained here and also our document is locked for changes. In this moment, I can save my changes.